Secure transmission established. This is Keeper. We may speak freely, Agent. Prepare to receive your orders. I'm ready, sir. What's the assignment? In short, subversion. You were chosen for this operation because of your exemplary performance during training. Imperial intelligence needs agents capable of working independently in the field. Now you apply your training to the real world. Nemro the Hutt and his organization run Jaguna. And you're in town to convince Nemro to supply the Empire. Give me background. What are we working from? Jaguna is an industrial town and Nemro runs most of the industry. The Hutt plies weapons, drugs and raw materials. But not to us. We believe Nemro has been reluctant to lose Republic customers by publicly siding with the Empire. It's time he overcame this reluctance. And I'm your means of making that happen. That's correct, Agent. We need to know what Nemro and his advisors are thinking before we can act. I want you to obtain access to the Nemro clan's inner circle. You'll require a cover identity. One of our contacts, an alien named G has prepared a background for you and will provide the details. So who am I going to be? You'll be taking the role of a visiting pirate and trader. As I said, our contact will give you the details. Jig will be waiting for you at a safe house. Locate him, take what he offers, then report to me. Are we sure this contact is trustworthy? Jig won't betray us. Whether he succeeds at his assigned tasks is another matter. I'd be more concerned with the rest of the populace. Most of Jaguna is caught up in a turf war. Some of the gangs involved belong to the huts. Others are independent. Your combat training should see you through, but expect brutality and expect to be targeted. Jaguna isn't friendly to strangers. Now, find Jig and report back to me. Keep her out. What's going on, everybody on the internet? My name is Novik, and welcome to the Sith... Not the Sith, I'm so sorry. The Imperial Agent, Season 1. Episode 1. Oh, Treek, what are you doing out here? Dang it, Treek. Okay, so... <sighs> a lot of you guys really wanted me to go ahead and do this, and I had done, like, the first part, uh... To it. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I can't untrack that, okay. Um, but a lot of you guys had wa wanted me to play as the Imperial Agent, as well as the Bounty Hunter and stuff like that. Uh, and... Me being the guy I am, you know, I was kind of intrigued, but at the same time, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the cover system. Um, however, I went ahead when double XP was out and um, leveled up Eltrix, who was going to go ahead and be the Imperial Agent. Got him some gear. I mean, this is during the whole thing with, uh, whoops, the what you would call it, the uh, costume uh, designer and stuff like that. So, uh, hold on, let me go talk to Jeek uh, real quick and then I'll finish. Uh, doing my whole thing. Atrodo nomales, smogas total jis babo apiatai. I'm listening. Continue. Vataranai angomis akananon, alas protas era. Gratai aptite, irprit bertini savasia savebe kaijis. This sounds easy, Jig. What's the catch? Truxta jai pami rasti kad. Adra vimos brandimos prostis kad at veritag. Vataranai angomis akananon alas protas era. What kind of interference? Atrodo nomales, smogas total jis babo apiatai. Gratai aptiti, irprit bertini savasia savebe kaijis. Let's make this fast and quiet then. Atrodo nomales, smogas total jis babo apiatai. Vataranai angomis akananon, alas protas era. Alright, anyways, but I wanted to go ahead and do this for you guys, so I'll be doing it the same way I've been doing the uh, Sith Inquisitor walkthrough. So I'll be doing a bunch of jump cuts and stuff like that uh, with the double XP and everything. I went ahead and leveled uh, Eltrix up to level 21 without doing a single, <laughs> a single quest whatsoever. And uh, now that there's 12 times experience, I'm not worried whatsoever about um, leveling or anything. I also have Treek, who uh, is obviously a healer. I'm pretty sure she levels with you until you get your healer anyways. Uh, but I don't know when you get your companions or anything. <sighs> so uh, I might be using a lot of Treek. She's rather annoying, I'll be honest. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Oh. 
Hey, look at someone I killed early on. Hold on, I want to go pick that up and then I'll see you guys at the uh, the gangster hideout. <laughs> God, you're so annoying, Shriek. Already. Ugh. I wish I, I... Could I shut her up? I don't know. Can I shut her up? That would be like a dream coming true. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this is what my character's gonna look like. Um, jump cuts all around. They're gonna be pretty sh quick jump cuts. I'm expecting this episode to be rather quick. Especially since I'm killing guys with one hit, so it doesn't really matter. I'm, I've chosen the sniper class, and I really like it. So, <sighs> that's, that's pretty much the uh, basis of everything I've got, so, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys when we return to Jig. You've done well. The Empire is grateful to you. Francija Baja as at Vexia. Vataranai ango mis akananon alas protas era. Jig, from this point forward, operational security will be at a premium. You will not contact us from this terminal again. Small seal popudus mana ira patare mana nan kali. I understand you corrected Jig's mishandling of the situation, Agent. We'll now proceed. Acknowledged and understood. Your next task is to access Nemro's inner circle. Present yourself to the hut as a fellow gangster, the Red Blade, and offer him Jig's gifts. One of the gifts is implanted with a listening device, which we will use to monitor conversations within Nemro's palace. Are you listening for something specific? At this juncture, our primary goal is to find weaknesses in Nemro's organization. Even if the Hut won't join us, we might influence his lieutenants. Talk to Nemro and his men. Determine who we can turn and how we can sway them. We will be listening. I'll be back once I learn anything. Be careful what you say. And lose the accent. When you're in the Hut Palace, you're no longer an Imperial. Contact me from the Cantina once Nemro has his presence. Keep her out. Alright, sounds good to me. Got some gear I don't need. Uh, before we get started with absolutely everything, um, I'm not going to be specifically choosing light side or dark side choices. Uh, I've turned those options off just so that... Or the, the ability to see those off just so that I can go ahead and... Uh, <sighs> I play how I want to play without being influenced by what's going to be what, so I'll just go ahead and uh, see, do pretty much what I would do in an agent situation, uh, be the agent that I would want to be, and uh, we'll play things that way. The pirate's on his way. Security droids say he's armed, but he won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here he is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the blades arrived. When Nemro shows, stay at least five meters back, and don't come up unless you're called. One wrong move, and you're a pile of ash. You worried I'm gonna cause trouble? Just going over the rules. You've got a reputation, and we don't want any problems. Allow me to present Nemro the Hutt, the illustrious crime king of Jaguna. Vast treasures, plundered from worlds in every sector of the galaxy. All for you, Great Nemro. Kapatunga, Chisa Bijabongi Chikatoko. Not bad. Nemro, the adults here are real erodium. The cloth looks like... Manama Asha Bijo. Kipuna Malituta Odmishka Kavano Tasema. Kiuba Kiliwata Bongi Dunko Batogawata. I'm... I'm very grateful. You got quite a place here. Haiji Managa. Kumbajiji. Kuantin. 
Loli Makichi-san. Hikuna mo. Uban chone alipa. Istin koto. Conchuta. Kasu ya ikoira to kantikomu. Looks like your audience with Nemro is over. You'll have to forgive the interruption. I've been working for that hut since he killed my gang when I was 13. Trust me, you can't talk to him when he's like this. Seems like your boss has some temper. Why stay with him? Because Nimro's got power and smarts, along with his temper. I like things a little more orderly than he does, but I don't complain. We're having trouble with the Fathra clan, and it's getting to all of us. Fathra's out of line, but the Hut cartel hasn't bothered to interfere. So it's a business dispute. What are you feuding over? Everything. The mines, the factories, the slaving operations. Now look, I need to work up new plans with security, and keep an eye on Tothelgen to keep him from suggesting anything stupid. In the meantime, you're a guest, and you've got our permission to do business here. You got the run of the palace, so I'll see you around. Infiltration complete. Now, we move on to everything else. Oh, go to the palace suite. Oh, I've got a new suite now. Oh, it's totally right. <laughs> uh, can I just turn Treek off? I don't think I should have gotten her for the beginning of this. I'll be honest. <sighs> Whatever, no big deal. No big deal. We got things to do, people to kill. Agent things to do as well. Oh, disable Nemeral surveillance. All right, that's easy. Just check all the liquor. It's always the liquor. Oh, never mind. It's never. It's not always the liquor. I lied. Up. Oh, that's one more. Probably something in the wall computer. Cause you know, let's face it. Oh, never mind. It's like every time I say there's gonna be something there, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's safe that I'm looking through everything. All right, come on, chess table. Don't make me a failure. Thank you. Uh, ooh. Ooh, we got more liquor. Lots more liquor. Let's check with more liquor. There's got to be at least one in the liquor. I mean, you got to be crafty about these things. At least I would be. I'd probably have something in there as well. Oh, yep, told you it was in the liquor. All right, sweet. Use the hollow terminal. Well done, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemro can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemro's human lieutenant, Carol's Jarvis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. He won't be any trouble to manipulate. Unfortunately, Carol's is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek Lieutenant Tafligen, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carol's and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carol's glory in Nemro's eyes. It's trivial enough, I'll handle it. Indeed you will. One other thing, Agent. This operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council. Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. We don't need the oversight of Sith to do our job. Watch what you say. We answer to the Sith whether you feel we need them or not. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carol's requires. Keep her out. Oh sweet, I got a new... thing. Thingy thing, thing. <laughs> I don't need any of this. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Cause it's just Eltrix, right? Agent Eltrix. Agent Eltrix. Eltrex? Who's Eltrex? It's Eltrix, sorry. Agent Eltrex. Why do I keep saying Eltrix? Eltrix 
Jeez, I can't even pronounce my own names. Jeez. Oh, this is bad. Maybe I shouldn't be recording so early. It's not necessarily really a... Never mind. Don't be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me? Your old buddy, Dino Ray? Now, you haven't aged well since we met up on Hoth. Your nose. And your skin. But you couldn't be an imposter. You know your friend Dino. Of course I remember you, Dino. How long's it been? A little too long, it seems. Turns out we got a problem. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, so I'll take you at your word and ask for my money. You understand? I understand, all right. You're a rat who needs to die. Is that so? Well, let's see what you can do, Blade. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, you're dead. Simple as that. I have nothing else to say other than you're dead. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks. And I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? It's been good business, and the government hasn't given me much trouble. You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts, even if Nimrod won't believe it. So if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner, and I don't see the Empire losing. Like it or not, the Empire does seem to be the future. I hope so, and not just because of business either. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? Word is you're on the outs with your boss. Is it true? Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Yubokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right, I'm interested. Then maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some Evokai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other Evokai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. Oh, I'm even better. In fact, I'm so good, I have a very convincing, uh, American accent. <laughs> as compared to, what, the, uh, the non-American one, the, uh... I don't know what accent the actual agent uses, but... I guess it's not a big deal. You said you were going to get the ore back. I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the chief for you. Right, he looks pretty dangerous. Get out of here. Yeah, fine. Call out if you need us. I? I am Odef of the Evokai, leader of the Vom, sacred keeper of histories. I greet you in peace, and I am grateful. Are you all right? Do you need a doctor? No, thank you, but no. You've come about the oars, I think. I swear it was one of the other tribes who attacked your shipment, Evokai who refused peace. In gratitude to Nemro for all he has done, I spoke to my misguided brothers, but they will not return Nemro's medals. They won't even negotiate? The tribes, they stole the shipment to spite the huts and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow can enter. Seek the shipment there if you wish. Thank you, you've been a great help. I only do my part. I only want peace. 
And I'm gonna try to go through this without racking up a huge body count. Unless, of course, someone threatens to uh, blow my cover like the other guy did, in which case... <laughs> oh, that did not go well for him. Let me tell you... Oh, actually, you guys already saw that. Never mind. Okay, so I gotta go ahead and recover crates. See you guys there. Crate time, mother truckers! Y'all gonna die. Because I've got a sniper rifle and you don't. Which is, you know, actually, that would, that would probably be the... Uh, why did I press F? For whatever reason, my, my body thought I was playing... Wildstar, where you can just press F to interact with everything. And I haven't played Wildstar in a couple weeks. Uh, but... <sighs> or actually, like, if I didn't have for the Force in this, like, in Star Wars, you know? I would absolutely be, like, an agent, maybe... Hmm. Uh, I'd probably either be a trooper or... Like an agent like this, or I guess a bounty hunter more so. Uh, with a sniper rifle, instead of just a pistol. That's that's more so the type of person I would be in the Star Wars universe. I want to know what you guys would be in the Star Wars universe if you weren't a... Uh, if you didn't have the Force, at least. Like, what kind of person would you be? Would you just be a normal bystander in the world, or would you... Uh, would you take things by your own hands? <laughs> or take things for yourself, I guess, and be like a bounty hunter or like fight for either the Republic or something like that, be a senator, I don't know. Just interested to th think what you guys would be. And that's, you know, gotta remember, if you wouldn't, if you couldn't be, uh, do I not have this point? I guess I don't have that point. Okay, well it's a good thing I only got like six seconds for quick travel. Um, but yeah, if you couldn't be a Sith or a Jedi, in any way, shape, or form, what would you guys be? That's my question for you guys. Okay, let's see. Last. We're not responsible for missed departures. Kind of wish there was a fast travel in there, though. It'd make getting to Nemro's palace a lot easier. Slow down, Blade. Stay with me a while. We haven't had the chance to talk. I'm Kaleo. Nemro puts me in charge of the good stuff. His guns, his troops. The safety of his little palace. You can spare some time for me, right? Who am I to say no to a woman like you? Good answer. People who say no are never very interesting. You've got a nasty reputation, you know. I hear you went and murdered poor Dino Ray right on this spot. What was that about, Blade? You know, and I go way back. He had it coming. It's too bad. He had a pretty face before you messed with it. Me. I'm betting you and Dino had something else going on. You had a reason for coming to Nemro's house. Maybe money, maybe power. I like to think you'll be troubleblade. You'll be bloodthirsty, treacherous. Because I could enjoy keeping an eye on a bloodthirsty, treacherous pirate. Well, I could enjoy being watched. Hmm. Maybe we'll get along after all. If you are trouble, take your time. I'd hate to stick a blaster to your head, or a slave collar around your neck, before I've seen everything you can do. That's all I wanted to say. You can go now. It's been a pleasure, Kaleo. Of course it has. <laughs> I really like Kaleo as a character, I'm not gonna lie. Fathra will not stop his mining operations. He's going to keep tapping our gas pocket and cut our supply in half. Don't play dumb with me, Tathlajin. Fathra doesn't need to steal our customers if he doesn't leave us any gas to sell, and we can't uproot him without help. Punyu Kichawa Joto Jamba. Idiot. Sorry about Tothlajin, Blade. Legitimate business brings out the worst in us. Makes me miss actual crime, you know? But it looks like you're about to brighten my day. You find the shipment? I have it right here. Delivered as promised. The fee's been transferred to your account. You'll have access by the time you're back at your apartments. You earned every credit. I'd buy you a drink in the cantina, but I need to have a chat with Nimro. We should talk more another time, though. You do good work. Always looking for business. Just say the word, Carols. 
And I'll see you when I see you. Ah, yeah. I love being an agent. Not gonna lie. Like, the... The, the uh, prologue in... I've only actually played the prologue, but so far the prologue is absolutely my favorite prologue. Uh, just because it's... <laughs> it's all filled with subterfuge and... and awesomeness. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. I just personally like it. I like it a lot. The operation is proceeding well, Agent. Thanks to your intervention, Carol's Jarvis will once again have Nemro's ear. I took note of your meeting with Nemero security chief, Kaleo. You handled yourself well. Still be on your guard. We've identified her as a freelance assassin, enforcer, and anarchist. She's been attached to a dozen employers in half as many years, using several different aliases. What's she doing with Nemro? Unknown. In all likelihood, she needed the credits. And if she truly has no loyalty to the hut, we may be able to use her in the future. On to more immediate concerns. Nemero operates a major Schwarzschild gas mine on Hutta. The Empire wants access to Nemero's refined gas. Unfortunately, Farthra is tapping the same gas pocket as Nemero. We need to destroy Farthra's operations in the rust yards before Nemero's grinds to a halt. So it's a sabotage mission? That's correct. You will travel to Farthra's mining facility and place explosives in the drill shaft, destroying the equipment and collapsing part of the gas pocket. You'll need to strip a uniform and credentials off the facility guards to pass the final security checkpoint. A working disguise is imperative. Should be straightforward. Your disguise may not hold up under close inspection, so avoid conversation. The explosives have already been delivered to your room. Once you're finished, go back to Carol's Jarvis and make sure he knows what happened. Take the credit if you like. I'll be back soon. One more thing, Agent. Darth Jadis pays increasing attention to your work. You will reward success or failure appropriately, and I will not intervene. Report back after you've destroyed the mine and inform Carols of the results. Keep her out. Stupid Sith always interfering with things. Come on now. I mean, actually, I can't say that I haven't interfered with anything as a Sith, so never mind. <sighs> okay, let's pick up these thingies, majiggers. The explosives that I totally just re disregarded. You know, there we go, explosives. Now I just gotta acquire a guard uniform. Easy peasy. You know, I gotta say, there's something about being a Chiss and being an Imperial agent that just fits perfectly. I don't know exactly what it is or, like, how to explain it, but I just feel like being a Chiss and being an agent. It's like the perfect combo right there, like being a Sith pureblood and being a Sith. Or being, uh, I guess, human and being a Jedi. I mean, it's very subject to you know, what you feel about the races and stuff like that, but... Um, I, there are specific races that I feel go perfect with specific classes, and... Uh, being a Chiss is definitely one of them. I hope I said Chiss earlier. Oh, I gotta... How am I supposed to do this? Just kill a guy? Get a uniform? That's simple, right? Oh, yeah, it's definitely that simple. All right. <sighs> Uniform. I got three of them. Watch out, Treek. Mission items. Or not. I guess I could just... Oh. I see what they did there. I wonder if I'll be able to still access the, the drill chamber thing. That's a little weird. Well, it's, here's to hoping, right? <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna... They're not gonna let me enter unless I have to interact with that, so never mind. I might be able to. And still look the same way I do. I don't know, this quest specifically seems a little off... For the, uh... The agent. Or for the... Cartel representative identity confirmed. Are you serious? Entry authorized. Are you serious? Like, no one's gonna... Oh, heck yeah. Now I can get rid of this, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. I needed that extra. Mm, just need that extra bit of, uh... Whatchamacallit. Um... Just make sure that when we check that, everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Make sure everything's totally cool. I don't know why. Um... No, I just wanted to want it. 
there you go, active outfit. That's cool, though. That quest, I didn't have to actually look really stupid. I could have just looked the way I wanted to. I like that. Oh, whoop, time to plant explosives. Gas leak detected. Activating ventilation system. Lockdown in place until ventilation... Oh, hi, guys. What's going on? We got this shriek. No worries about a thing. Because these excavation droids are going to get dead soon. Actually, they are dead. Sweet. Just got to go back to... I love having a six-second... <laughs> Fast travel, it's beautiful. Oh boy, it is absolutely beautiful. It makes going through this so much easier. With a lot less jump cuts too, so I can just kind of... Speak my mind sometimes during the transition, which is nice. I mean, I'm still going to do jump cuts, of course. State your destination. All vehicles leave on However, you're going to get a lot more of my babbling in this walkthrough than you probably will with the... Uh, Sith Assassin. Or the Sith Inquisitor, because I'm not an assassin. I am a uh, sorcerer in that one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, the cool thing about not having played, or having only played the, uh, I think I've only played up to, like, two story quests into Jerome and Koss, uh, but the cool part about that is I'll be experiencing this for the first time yeah, with you guys, so you here. guys get to see my honest-to-goodness, like, reactions to what's going on in the story. So, I'm excited about that. I'll be doing that with the Bounty Hunter, too, except I've, I've beaten Chapter... No, I haven't. I haven't beaten Chapter 1 as the Bounty Hunter. I've just done some of it as the Bounty Hunter. You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. That girl's a handful. But she's good at what she does, I'll give her that. She's a hot little number too, don't you think? I try not to notice. I'd rather keep all my pots attached. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I took out Fathra's mining operations. I heard they were giving you trouble. <laughs> I thought you might have something to do with it. Good work, Blade. Good work. I like a person who takes initiative. With Fathra's mines broke down, we can increase production. Fathra will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? I really wish I knew the answer to that. Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from the trading expedition. I think you'd get along. Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. He knows me so well. I, I feel so, so touched. Carols, you know me so well. <laughs> I, you've got a friend, didn't me. Why am I getting so choked up about that? Oh, that's right, because I know what's going to happen. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to die. That's what's going to happen. Come on, Lutie. We don't have time to waste here. Too late. Hey there, you must be the blade. You want to explain why you're in my room? Well, we were paid pretty well, for starters. Luthi here was installing a listening device before you interrupted. Someone wanted to know what you were up to, but I guess that plan's off now. Whenever you're being paid, I can pay more. Well, I don't really want to cross my employer. Plus, you know, we can always grab the credits off your corpse. Guns out, folks. Had no idea that was going to be the uh, light side option. These guys are dumb. <laughs> Real dumb. Uh, gotta love having Treek unnecessarily healing me. Love it. Oh. I thought it was, maybe it was going to go into a cutscene, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, do I have one of those? I think I do. Yeah, I do. I gotta start thinking about upgrading my character. Just a little bit. 
I understand Nemiro Schwarzgast's production is back on schedule, Agent. Excellent work. Keep it up, and Darth Javis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, oh, that's a separate matter, and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Carlos Javis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Carlos hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. This is an intelligence project. Sith shouldn't be interfering in our work. The Sith do what they will. We don't control them and we don't pass judgment on them. That doesn't mean they're right, or that we obey them without question, but we phrase those questions carefully. We bide our time. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma, but first we need Carols out of the way. You're asking me to kill Carols? It's unfortunate, but it's the only way to proceed. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carols' suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carols and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. Let's hear some more. Fartherish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fartheri to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fartheri kill Carols. Once Carols is gone, speak to Tarthlishen about his suspicions. As Carols' friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carols' suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carols is eliminated and Tarthlishen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. Dang, I didn't think that was gonna happen so soon. Oh god, light side points. It's a good thing I don't care at this character. I'm just kind of doing the things that sound pretty cool. Which is... Awesome to me! Alright, Carol's a sweet security terminal. Wow. Well, it's a good thing I brought up the, uh... The whole knowing what's gonna happen to Carol's right off the bat then, because that, that was the mission. That was the mission. <laughs> that was the next mission. Oh god. It's just too easy. Just too easy. I don't know why I never did. I like it never did that before, honestly. You know what? Here we go. What's up, Carols? What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! I'm sorry, Carols. It's nothing personal. I don't understand. I helped you. I trusted you. We had a bond. And now you murder my men, wave a weapon in my face? But I guess that doesn't matter much. So let's go. You and me, Blade. The young punk against the old gang leader. I wish it could have been different. You deserve better. You think you're the first piece of scum who's tried to kill me? I was fighting thugs in Jagula streets when I was half your age. I can handle you. Trust me, buddy. You can't handle anything I can dish out. Oh, okay, maybe some things, but definitely not a lot of those skills, because you just you just couldn't handle it. Two shots and you were dead. Like, I was handling your shots like it was nothing. Thank you, Treek, by the way, for healing me. Oh, and I gotta go speak to Tothlizin. Jeez, that's such a weird way to name it. Like, a weird name to name someone. Like, the Twi'lek language has got to be very weird. In fact, I'm sure it is. Kanki Kung. What are you talking about? Carol's is dead? Manchi do ti puna puna. 
kabuk nuni slemo. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta od miska. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo, da biska ku paliya. I'll do whatever it takes to bring the killers to justice. Mana ma tota jispa micho. Kliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Inga yinga kijita, nimni tanub alelo kwekuta. Kunta chuta, kaso ya li kuli ra, kanki kum. Oka kiza spida perupa. I'll look into it. Might take some time. Atoga wata kiko uba kili wata buki donko. Buka kampak nijit tonka yiliska chanaga. Easy enough. Easy enough. Hey, wasn't what's her face right here? Kaleo. Is that her name? Kaleo. I think it's Kaleo. She was watching me. Did she walk away? Or is she just gonna meet me in my chambers for a little private talk? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I really don't. Eh. I guess she'll probably be the romance option, but that's because she's the only one I know of, and someone placed one of those things in there. So, this is where you've been hiding. Nice. Is the blood on the floor fresh, or did that come with the room? Just what I've always wanted. A pretty girl waiting for me at home. Nice. But that's not why I'm here. Not this time, anyway. You've been all over town racking up quite a body count. And I know what you did to Carol's. You're after something bigger than Emerald. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure why. But I want in on it. Fine. I'm sure we can work something out. I knew we could get along. So where do we start? Allow me to respond to that. Hmm. What's this now? We know who you are, Kaleo Janus. And we are willing to offer you a deal. I am Keeper. I represent Imperial Intelligence, as does my operative. We are aware of your activities on Rat Attack, Ord Mantell, and Brentall 4, as well as your affiliations. Your skills could prove useful, and we are willing to offer you a place in our ranks. You would become a very well-paid servant of the Empire. I've heard worse propositions. What do you think, Agent? You want me on your side? I don't see why not. Sounds like fun to me. I was looking to trade up anyway. And I'm guessing I can ride you a ways before you break. Count me in. But call me a servant of the Empire again, and I'll bust your face. Charming. We'll discuss the details later. As for you, Agent, Tarthrigen is convinced that Bathra the Hutt is a major threat to business. Well done. Now we must bring Tarthrigen proof that Bathra has support from the Republic. The first step is to obtain a hollow disk from Bathra's palace. The disk contains hollow recordings of all Bathra's dealings. The hut is too paranoid for his own good. You'll have to break into his archive to get it. It'll mean lifting security coats off the palace overseers. Like you said, paranoid hut. Noted. Once you reach the archives, use this computer spike on the holodisc. It will be altered to show Fathra meeting with Republic officers. Then bring the forgery to Tothlijan. I could use a break from the tough jobs. Tarthlijan convinced that his enemies are allied with the Galactic Republic, have no doubt. He will turn to us for help. We are in the endgame. Ilya will accompany you on this mission and will act under your command. Last time I went to Father's Palace, I had so many adrenals in my system, I was coming down for a week. This should be entertaining. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that's, that's who Kaleo is. That's the kind of person Cleo is. Ew. Oh god, okay. There's tons of those. And there's that. And then there's that. Ooh. I don't know. Blank face or that. Or just normal. Let's go with that. 
All right, Kaleo, you're my new companion, and I'll be using you until I actually need treaks, so perfect. All righty, all right, Deru. Oh, you know what? I can give you some. I can give you these clothes as well. We could match, Kaleo. We could be the best of friends ever. We can match and everything. Yay! Let's match. <laughs> God, I sound so stupid. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but yeah, it should be easy enough. I like the music. I was getting down right here. Just, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it was like stuff like that. Is my jam. That was precisely my jam. Grape flavored, to be exact. Just in case you were wondering, not grape flavored. It's gonna be grape jam, grape jelly. Stuff you put on the peanut butter sandwiches. Thus you make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I just want to get off of hot, or uh, hotta? I can't talk. Hutta, there we go. That's what I want to do. I want to get off of this planet. So yeah, I'll see you guys at uh, the, the quest thingy, the access code quest thingy. That's one access code. Oh, we probably got another right here. Wait for the ambush, wait for the ambush. Boom, he's dead. Now, what about you guys? You gonna drop anything? Probably not. Nope, he didn't drop anything good. Maybe this guy has it. Alright, guy. You messed with the wrong agents. Even though you didn't deliberately mess with me. Okay, you know what? Alright. Alright. Alright, Father, it's time to mess with your archives, buddy. Aw, oh, come on. I outrank you by at least 11 levels. 12 levels, exactly. So, why... Anybody think it, that, like, the, uh... The sniper should have the cloak and not the operative? So the subclasses? <laughs> Excuse me. That was the sneeze of a lifetime. You're welcome. I let you hear it. <laughs> uh, but no. Um... I feel like the sniper should have the, uh, the, the stealth. Because, well, I mean... I'm far away anyways, like, I'm, these are stealthy circumstances to be sniping in someone anyways, you know? So why wouldn't I have the uh, invisibility, the cloaking thing? It just makes more sense to me. I don't know about you guys, but that's what makes sense to me. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Malambiangin, Hangam Nea Pe Cabra Cala, Manala Yang Perlo, Amka Kalami Naya Kira Nubua. Hello, Nan. What brings you down here? Father finally ordered you to check out the shooting. Nuli lak apa jam kamram, Amka nem nang nemua inuk. Kali ruma, Mereka baka levik ruma. I like that about you, Nan. You only bet on a sure thing. Jam gam nukara nukara. Come nam gum gek arega naya. If you're with Fathra, you're dead. Simple as that. Kremini baby, rapa praha vernegarak. I knew coming here would be a good time. Ah, uh, you gotta love a girl who just loves to fight. <laughs> she's, she's uh, I don't know what the word is for that. I don't know why. I don't know. What, oh wow, that was. Easy, okay, I guess mm, problem solved. All right, Cleo, high five. Can we high five? No? All right, chest bump. Ugh. Oh, she's running away. Never mind. She doesn't want the chest bump of awesomeness. That's it then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course, there's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Toflogen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the hollow disc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, he'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. What are you up to, Kaleo? I wouldn't think you'd care what Nemro does. I don't, but I thought you might. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disc. 
Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Toffelgen figures out you erase the good stuff. So erasing the data is risky. I thought you enjoyed a little risk. Who says I don't? I'll do the damage. We'll see how far we can take this con. Now let's get that thing to Toflogen and see what happens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turning off the uh, the alignment gains. Ooh. I I actually enjoy it. It's making <sighs> making things a little bit more entertaining because now it's just like all right. All right, what do you want to do? You want to make it risky? All right, we'll make it risky. We'll do it. I mean, I could have, I could have just had a bloodbath going on, but hey, it's not necessarily my style. But state your destination. All vehicles leave on time. At least it's not Eltrix's style. If it was, uh, <laughs> if it was Zadrian or Zemrix, I think it's Zemrix. It's Zemrix, right? The uh, family tree would be Zemrix, yeah. So if it was Zadrian or Zemrix, oh yeah, bloodbath all the way, but hey, Eltrix doesn't roll that way. He likes to go on a, uh, a thing. Me, huh? Absolutely not. You were, like, making my experience ten times better. Best companion ever, 2015. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just making her hear what she wants to hear. I don't know if there's... Is there an actual romance with Kaleo? Or is she just that kind of person that's like, nah, nah, we'll fool around, but nah, I can't take a real relationship. I don't need no man. That's who she is. I'm being super weird for this one. Holy crap. <laughs> I apologize if I'm weirding you guys out. Hello, Toplogen. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabog nuni slemo, mokili mo clunky. I stole these recordings from Fathra's palace. Take a look. Chobat e kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. Kliska taka ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. You'll need help to stay competitive, but the Republic does have enemies. They might be useful. Imache. Churon chika jiliska chanaga. Jiliska tananga ime chai jo ron chika. A pleasure doing business with you, mighty Nemro. Jiholaguta ai tuta miska. Dobata ji moa tusawa mikuna posta molrulia. Jipawa no loda muma. All right. Mr. Keeper. We did it. We did it. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Could be like Dora and sing the whole song if I remembered that song. I used I think I watched like one episode of Dora when I was little. I think. I don't remember. I wasn't big on TV. I'm still not big on TV, but I was all about those Power Rangers though. That was my childhood. <laughs> The deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial embassies looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutta under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. That's excellent news, sir. Your future with Imperial Intelligence looks bright, but we can discuss that face to face. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Kass. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. 
Don't make me jump through bureaucratic rings. If you want another assignment, you will follow orders. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cass. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. And he's certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. We're on our way. Good. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. Wow, that worked in my favor. Right, is that good for you, Coolio? No, it's not good for you. Eh, that doesn't even look that good anyways. Whew, it's a good thing I got the cool looking stuff. Thank God, nothing is ever easy. That's... It's almost truth there. It's almost... Okay. Oh, uh, looks like we got a call! Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? If you have something to say, say it. You told me the real blade was far away. What's he found out? Small seal popotus mana ira patare mana nan kali. A trodo no malis, smogus total gis baba apiatai. I appreciate the advice. A told gi i parcale tiam ajamas. Gratai up tip de irocrit per timi savasia sa vebe kaijis. Never, never. Jeez, I can't talk. <sighs> Nothing ever is easy now, is it? Nothing is ever easy. Thanks, Jig. I feel like you ratted me out somehow. Just somehow. Oh, hey, it's the Red Blade. So, you're the one who killed my men. The pretender who wants to be the Blade. I'm no pretender. I earned my name. You think this is a joke? I'm the Red Blade, you worm. The real Red Blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Hard to explain myself to a dead man. You're a piece of work, but you're not leaving here alive. Oh, old school showdown! Sorry, Blade. <sighs> the poor fool, he's gonna die. Doesn't know what's gonna hit him either. Oops. I totally forgot I have all these other abilities. <laughs> I'm just not gonna use them until I need to use them. Easy. I'm not. Oh, Kaleo, I'm gonna give you that. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that. Hold on. <clears throat> Inventory. Let's uh, let's do that. Cannot modify this item. Yes. Hit apply. Kaleo, I got you something. I got you something. Oh, you can't even use it. Oh, you can. You can. Wow, you're versatile then. I like it. I like, oh. Oh, now I gotta take a shuttle to the Imperial Fleet. Alright, sweet. Well, that should be pretty easy. I'm pretty sure that sums up the entirety of... Uh, Huda, though. We'll see in a second. Alright, so that sums up the uh, entirety of... Season 1, Episode 1, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. If you guys like the Imperial Agent, let me know down in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much yet again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.